This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The folks at BMW are quick to tell you they don't make SUVs, but they do build and sell sport activity vehicles. It's been that way ever since the first X-Series units were built more than 15 years ago. Now the brand is parsing things even more with the X5e. The E, as you can imagine, stands for electric assist in some form or other. In this case, it means the 45e is a plug-in hybrid. On pure electric power, it has a range of only 31 miles. Now, make the electric assist with a gasoline direct injection inline six-cylinder engine from BMW, and we're talking about a power plant that delivers 389 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque, which sounds much more like what we're accustomed to from the brand. The upside is a lot of power on demand. The downside is fuel efficiency numbers that are somewhat disappointing compared to other plug-in hybrids. So the engineers have refined the drive mode system for a driver to be able to choose how eco-friendly or aggressive they want to be with this X5. While most plug-ins have a CVT transaxle, this unit has an 8-speed gearbox linked to an all-wheel drive setup. We enjoyed the quick response and believe it or not, we also liked the fact that at highway speeds, it was a relatively serene experience in the cabin. This is a five passenger unit, which we liked because squeezing a third row of seats into it just makes folks in the back feel very uncomfortable. We will always give credit to the design team for the seating arrangements, especially the thigh support for the driver, which makes a huge difference on long trips. Where BMW stands out is in the realm of technology, and in this case, that includes the expected center display screen, which delivers data and entertainment. Additionally, there's a driver alertness monitor, which we think should be standard on all new vehicles. But what do we know? While it isn't fully electric, this fits into a bridge position between BMW's legacy as a performance vehicle and its future as a company building vehicles using wattage instead of octane keep the brand moving forward. I'm Greg Morrison.